We are in the midst of Everyday May. You guys have been posting your everyday images on my Facebook page, and I've been sharing some of mine as well. The point is that we're trying to appreciate some of the things in our everyday life. Maybe the subject of our art doesn't even have to be profound or even thought-provoking. Maybe the purpose is simply to appreciate the shape of the bowl that you eat your cereal out of every morning. And then maybe we can learn a little something about creating a pleasing image in the process. For some reason, it's a lot easier to focus on composition and light and shadow when you're taking a photo of an everyday object rather than something exceptional. I came up with the idea for Everyday May because of a couple of reasons that I want to share with you. One, I watched a documentary called Objectified. It is about industrial design, which is the design of functional things. Things like typewriters and doorknobs and forks. <laughs> things that you use, but you don't normally think about how someone designed it for functionality, sure, but also for aesthetics. Shortly after watching that documentary, I visited the exhibit at the Phoenix Art Museum called Lifelike. It is all about everyday objects. Some of the art is more humorous. Some is more serious, though, to make you think or even make a political statement. But regardless of the intent, all of the subjects are ordinary objects or scenes. Now, this isn't any sort of novel idea. It's been done throughout history and art. In fact, I talked about putting an everyday spin on your portraiture and showed you some historical examples in one of my previous You Are the Artist videos. But beyond portraiture, artists have depicted everyday objects as the subject of their work for so many different reasons. The first thing that comes to my mind is still lifes, where the artist will arrange some objects and paint or draw them, oftentimes just as an exercise to better their skills. For me, I've discovered something during this process. I've always enjoyed noticing things around me, Oftentimes I'll be wondering why or how, like, why are those elevator buttons round? Or how in the world is my cat comfortable in that position? These questions and thoughts were always just that though, thoughts, my own internal dialogue. Now that I'm taking photos of these things, I feel like it's a little bit personal. I'm sharing a bit of myself with the viewer. And that leaves me a bit vulnerable, I guess. And I've noticed that some of you have put more of yourself in your images as well, like your bedside table or that thing that's been passed down in your family and now resides in your home. These are images that speak to who the artist is. So with that, I've pulled together some of the photos that I've posted on Facebook throughout the month, some of my special moments with the everyday. I love the interplay between light and shadow. Even the light hitting the floor under my kitchen table brings a bit of a smile to my face. And then framing this image in my viewfinder, I noticed the theme, if you will, of lines, the lines of the furniture and the lines of the light and shadow. And really, Leroy Brown Cat, how is that comfortable? But I look at this unedited photo and love how the soft morning light was coming in and spilling onto my soft cat. And then using a pretty shallow depth of field seemed like a great way to complement the softness of the image. And my running shoes. I don't buy running shoes often. When I find a pair that I like and break them into the point where I love them, I have a hard time switching to a new pair, even if it's the same kind. And then in this photo, I discovered that I really liked the contrast between the purple of the shoes and the green of the grass. I mentioned earlier that I've been enjoying the photos that you've been sharing on my Facebook page. Keep sharing. If you haven't yet, you can find me by searching for Snapcheck or you can find a link to my page in the description of this video. One more thing. A lot of you have asked me about a contest for Everyday May. I'm trying to get one going. Right now, I'm trying to line up some cool prizes and a neat and fun concept for it. So keep an eye on my Facebook page. That's where I'll talk to you guys about it.